We want to take you back to the scene there in Port Orchard. Uh, Thomas Kennedy, 18 year old, uh, was there today. Thomas, thanks for giving us a couple of minutes. Talk about what it was like for you as this all unfolded in an actual tornado there in Port Orchard. Well, uh, I'd have to say it was a pretty scary experience, something I've never seen before. And all the 30 years my mom has been here, she's never even seen anything close to that. Mm -hmm. um, I was going to go to a dentist appointment after school today. I got out about 1.50 and I walked to, down to the pool. And within two minutes, probably three inches of hail and rain came down. And right after, uh, I get picked up and we're wake, making our way toward, uh, on Bethel towards Sanibury. And uh, we see all this destruction. Uh, ton of trees down, ton of wires down, and uh, before we got to Bethel, we were uh, going towards EPO, East Port Orchard, and we see this huge funnel come down from the sky, like a, you know, like a cloud, gray cloud. At uh, first we thought there was birds, like a flock of birds flying everywhere, but um, we looked closer and we saw that about a mile away there was debris, um, not debris, uh, debris flying everywhere, uh, smashing into things. Uh, roofs flying in the sky, um, and it just kept going up and up. Uh, like I heard, um, apparently it went up a mile into the atmosphere. Uh, pretty scary experience. Where is everyone? And by that I mean we're looking at all these pictures, and we're talking about roofs off of homes and trees everywhere. We've only seen one or two people walking around, and I know the Red Cross is trying to help as much as they can, but w it, are you talking with other people nearby? Have people been able to find um, other homes that they can shelter in place in? Um, I wondered the same question when we were strolling, uh, riding through the town. There wasn't a lot of people anywhere, except for this one house on the corner of Salmonberry and Bethel, where uh, I, I posted on my Instagram, there was uh, a a tree falling onto this small house um, and there was a family outside we asked them if they were okay and they said yeah um, I'm glad no one was hurt uh, about three minutes after uh, I made my way down Sedgwick I saw probably three or four police cars ambulances and fire trucks coming from Bremerton to come help yeah, I think a lot of the evacuations there, Thomas, a lot of your friends, in fact, in, in a good place for you to head if you need a spot there. They do have emergency evacuation centers open, uh, kicked off right at 4 o'clock. So it's open there at the St. Gabriel Roman Catholic Church, a good spot for people to meet up. If there's somebody you can't get in touch with, that's hopefully where they should go or you should direct them.